Today we will talk about what happens if a lightning stroke hits a power system and how you can protect it. At the end of this tutorial we will see what happens electrically. Here we have our transmission tower and up there we have a, a little cloud. Let's see what happens now. Was this too quick? Okay, let's go to the slow motion. Uh huh, it was still too quick. So, okay, then let's go step by step. Let's quickly have a look at the basic structure of a power line. So, here we have a tower, and on top of the tower, you have a, a shielding wire. Then, you have a phase support insulators, you have phase wires, and a grounding resistance. And then, you have some important parameters which are listed here. You can read it yourself. The key thing to protect the power line is this shielding wire. It protects the power line against direct uh, impacts of a lightning stroke to the phase wires. So there is a protection angle you can see here. So we have now our cloud up there and normally this cloud could be charged against the earth. So there is a high field stress between the cloud and the earth surface. This field stress will lead to the inception of a leader. This leader will now stepwise travel to, towards the surface of the Earth. It is branched. And what you see now as the leader is approaching the surface of the Earth, at the tip of the transmission tower, you will see now that the streamer, an upward streamer, is forming and will try to meet the downward leader. When the leader is now close enough to the tower, it may well be that a second streamer is forming out of the phase wire and also tries to encounter the downward leader. So there is a race between the streamer at the phase wire and the streamer from the protective wire at the top of the tower. And if we are lucky and our tower is well designed, the streamer from the top of the tower will first meet the lightning strike. And as this happens, there is a short circuit the main channel will start to heat up and the rest of the branches will dry out. Current will grow and the current will be grounded through the tower running resistance. This is the lightning protection mechanism of a power line. Thanks to the shield wires, we can avoid that uh, lightning strokes penetrate the tower area and hit the phase wire. Lightning strike normally has a couple of 10 kiloamps. I did not tell you the full story yet, because sometimes such a lightning strike can uh, reach hundreds of kiloamps. And then the situation is slightly different. In rare cases with uh, very high lightning currents, there is a very high voltage buildup across the phase insulator between the phase wires and the tower arm. And then we have a backflash. A backflash across the phase insulator and this backflash leads to a very steep voltage increase at the phase wire at the location of the tower. The very steep overvoltage strike forms waves traveling at close to light speed towards the end of the lines where it hits substations or other equipment. So this very high overvoltage hitting the substation, the line end substation may cause two problems. The first problem is that it may lead to a flashover in the substation with subsequent damages. At the location of the backflash across the line insulator where the lightning hit the tower, circuit. So the protection strategy is first to install metal oxide surge arrestors at both line ends. Normally it's at the substation entrance. <laughs> And the second thing is that we have uh, breakers at both substations at the line ends and these breakers will interrupt the short circuit currents before it can cause some damages. This is now a strongly simplified model of such a lightning event. You can see here a tower, I assume 45 meters high. You can see the footing resistance of the tower, I assume 5 ohms. Here you have a current source representing the lightning stroke. It is a standard shape. You can see it in green down there. Here I take a 50 kiloamp lightning stroke. Then you have the tower arrangement, the cross arm, and here you have the phase insulator. The phase insulator would backflash at 1.5 megavolts. It's a 245 kV system. 
Then here you have a, we assume that the lightning stroke happens at the tower 500 meters away from a substation. And the substation is simply represented by this, uh, by this capacitor, which is a sum of some uh, pushing capacitances. So you can see now the voltage at the tip of the tower. With a 50 kiloamp stroke, it would amount to around about uh, 1.6 megavolts. At the insulator, at the line insulator, you would see a residual voltage of around about 1.3 megavolts. It's just below the backflash level. And uh, let's see what happens now if I increase the current. Instead of only 50 kiloamp, I would go now to, let's say, 100 kiloamps. And you see that there is now a backflash. This switch closes at around about 1.5 megavolts. And now I have a traveling wave which goes in both directions, one direction to the infinite line and the other direction would be towards the substation. And at the substation I would see that I get a residual overvoltage of around about one megavolt. This is just at the limit of what I could afford. And uh, if unfortunately I would have even a higher lightning stroke current, this may happen once every hundred year. And I can see that really now I'm well above the insulation, the BIL limit of the substation equipment. And therefore I need to introduce a surge arrester. Here is my surge arrester. You can now see how well protect my substation is with such an arrester at the entrance. The peak voltage entering a substation would be limited to around about 200 kilovolts. In order to increase the visibility of the voltage entering the substation, I just removed all the, the other voltage traces. That is what you can see now at the entrance of the substation. The voltage is limited to something above 200 kilovolt peak, uh, which was the desired value. You can go to the public simulator. The arrangement of the simulation is set up there. You can use a simulation time of 20 microseconds and uh, 10,000 steps, and then you should get pretty good results.